Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel So Happy. In today's video I am showing you things I have made. It has been forever since I've done a video like this, literally months, 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 months. So everything I'm showing you today is beginner friendly, so all these patterns are beginner friendly, so if you are a beginner sewer or you want to get into sewing, all of these are a-okay for you to make. On for some admin first, as you can see, a few things have changed, like five inches off my scalp. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's so light now, like I can literally like, mm -hmm. Another piece of exciting news, me and my best friend Caroline have started a company a business um, and you can find all the details for that below. It is called Selkie. For those of you who haven't heard about Selkie, we have just announced it and we are going to be doing a Kickstarter campaign and Selkie is a sewing pattern company and fabric company designed with the environment in mind and I would absolutely love you if you could do a go check that out in the box down below. We also have a YouTube channel that I will link here for you and yeah we're really really excited and we cannot wait to share this journey with you and we also have a mailing list now so if you want to join the mailing list we send our e um, newsletters once a week about what we're up to or sneak peeks about the design process and things like that so yeah we would absolutely love you to join the mailing list. I've recently just come back from a trip from Sweden and it was so good but I had no idea what to pack because I mean the Swedes they're just like in my brain if they're anything like Caroline they're just so cool and easy and chic but practical I'm like what do I wear on this trip so the majority of the things I'm going to show you I took on the trip with me apart from one and they were perfect so the first thing I'm going to show you is this cocoa. I absolutely love it. Unfortunately, I didn't get time to make this for Sweden, but I made it a couple of days ago. Can we just take in this print? It's seagulls. Aren't they gorgeous? I just absolutely love these makes, and all of them are nautical themed. So if you're into nautical things, <laughs> This is the video for you. So as you can see, I made a hack. I made it into super, super short cocoa version. So when I wear it, it sits just where my jeans start. I have another top very similar to this, um, which I got when I worked at Kate Spade. And it's sort of a Breton top again, and it cuts quite high. And I really love it because it's not cropped, but you don't have to tuck it into things if you get what I mean. So I really wanted to recreate that. So I literally just shortened the pattern and I made it with the three quarter leg sleeves again, which are perfect for winter and summer. And I can see me wearing this with jeans tucked into skirts, well, just about tucked into skirts, and I absolutely love it. The jersey is the most amazing, amazing quality. I picked this up from, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong, La Mazzi or La Maze Fabrics. Um, I will put a link below to them. But I discovered um, their fabric shop about a couple of months ago, and I just absolutely love the stock that they have. Everything is beautiful quality, and what I really loved about these guys is that they have Otex certified section. So this is an Otex certified jersey, as is one of the other ones I'm going to show you. So for those of you who don't know what Otex certified means, it's basically certification, which is very hard to get, um, which classifies that the fabric has been produced in a humane way with chemical-free substances. <laughs> so like that. I will put a link below to the what Otex actually means. So if you want to do further reading on it, then there you go. So I got this and I absolutely love it. And it's just so good to know there was also the fabric was produced in a in a humane manner. So there we go, aren't they gorgeous? I have got some remnants of this left and I have um, another exciting piece of news. I have a brand new baby niece, she is beautiful. So I am going to make her and my other niece um, from this remnant, another remnant matching tops and I just think they'll just be so gorgeous. Now, my next make, some of you might remember this fabric from forever ago. So this was a stash buster. I heard a rumor that this is actually X designer as in dead stock Ralph Lauren. I've heard this about, about the bush, about the way, on the hills, in the wind, by the birds. So I don't know whether that's true or not, but it would not surprise me because like, you know, it looks pretty, pretty swish. Um, but I absolutely love this. I think it's a linen, um, but it doesn't crease a lot, but it feels so good on the skin. And this is the, oh, what's it called? It's not the Stevie. Is it the Stevie? By... I will put the name below here of what the pattern is by Tilly the Buttons. And this was the most satisfying make ever. Look at the back, hello. This is also beginner friendly. And you can see it's got a grown on sleeve and like a little cuff here. And I absolutely love it. And the back is in two parts. So you could do color blocking if you want. But I absolutely love this fabric. I had it for so long. Got this tie and I made the tie extra, extra long. And I love all the colors and it just fits so, so beautifully. Again, 
completely beginner friendly. It also comes as a top and a dress, as does the Coco, so you're getting like two pounds and one, which is lovely. And yeah, I absolutely love this, and I wore this on the beach of Sweden as a cover-up as well. And it's so cool, because it dries so quickly. I think this actually still has seawater on. <laughs> Where we were staying in Sweden, this blew my mind, but I had to share this with you, because I bet some of you at home are gonna be like, ah! So the sea we swam in, <laughs> Some of you are going to be like, Alex, you're crazy, but some of you are going to be like, this is so cool. Um, the sea we swam, it, swam in is the one that also connects to Denmark, because you have to take a train over a bridge to Denmark, it's that sea, same sea area. Anyway, that's where the little mermaid swam. So we are on to the final make. As you can see, I haven't made a lot, um, but these are some really perfect, great, cosy, lovely makes that I'm going to get so much wear off, so I'm really happy I chose to make these. This, oh, <laughs> can we take that in? Look at that print. It's so beautiful. Can you see that all the whole, all the C knots, um, their individual lines, like the design is just so gorgeous. I love tiny details and it could have just been rope, but oh no, it's sort of like an artistic interpretation of rope. Um, but I just absolutely love this. Again, LeMay's fabrics or LeMazzi fabrics, again, Otec certified. This is the most beautiful quality ever. Absolutely love this. This is again a cocoa. So all the patterns in this video are Tilly. <laughs> but they're just great patterns, guys. Okay, they're, they're cut really well. I just love them. Anyway, three quarter length um, sleeve and then it flicks out. I made it exactly as it was in the pack. I did no alterations. I made a straight size. I think I made the size six, which is, I think it's the UK 16 or 14. I can't remember which. Um, and it fits beautifully. And normally to these patterns can come up quite short, which I love in the winter. So with tights and I think it's super 60s and super fun and they lend themselves way well to her designs. But with this, I was a bit concerned. I was like, oh, how short is it gonna be? And I thought, you know what, I'll measure it. And it was fine. So I made it the length it was from the pack as well. And I just absolutely love this. And I thought in the winter with tights as well, and then with a red lip, and I have a really old red Cambridge satchel, which will look so cute with this and brogues. I just think it will look adorable. And it's so cozy and breathable. And yeah, I absolutely love it. Again, completely beginner friendly. Yeah, it's just such a nice piece. I love the print. It's great. And I thought, you know, why not go a bit more bold than just a stripe, guys? It's a knot stripe. Thank you so much for watching. Are any of you guys out there huge nautical freaks as well? I absolutely love nautical fashion. I have worn nautical stuff my whole life. Any of you who are 90s babies out there probably remember your mother dressing you in like sailor dresses and stuff. <sighs> I need to make another sailor dress. Thank you so much for watching with me and my pole duck shirt. Enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you again soon. Bye.